Hey what's up guys in this video i'll show you how to get google gemini advanced completely free of cost for one year you will see this kind of colorful circle over your account icon and if you go inside your account management section you will now see your account have two tb of storage completely free of cost and the pro tag just beside your account icon in gemini that means you now have access to all the pro features like ai video generation image generation etc so now i will show you how to do that first in the address bar of your browser type gemini advanced for students free hit enter and go to the first link that says gemini for students your ai study buddy now the college students get gemini upgrade for one year completely free of cost and in this plan you are going to get 2 tb of free storage video generation module deep research and all the other features that comes under google ai pro now if you want to discontinue using this service, you can do any time while your plan is active. And once the trial period for one year is over, you can reactivate it by paying 19,500 Indian rupee, convert it to your own currency. You can also go with the only 2 TB storage plan at a very lower cost, almost one fourth of the amount. And if you want to discontinue, it's okay. Google will not delete your data. It will keep all the data safe up to three years. With that, now let's click on this get offer button. Now it says you are already subscribed. This is because the account that I am using over here, uh, this is already having the Gemini advanced. So let us select that account where we are going to activate the Gemini advanced right now. So you might get confused to see the colorful circle over the account. This is not because I am having Gemini advanced. This is showing because I have purchased a 15 GB extra storage. You can see 30 GB in total. So that's why I'm seeing this colorful circle over it. So now let's activate the Gemini advanced. So for that, click on verify eligibility. It will now redirect to CRID.com to confirm your student status. For that, you need to put your college name, your first name, last name, date of birth and email address. So let us put all these things one by one. Now for the email address, if you have an email address provided by your college, that would be great. But if you don't have such email address, don't worry. You can put an ordinary Gmail address over here. But if you put an ordinary Gmail address to verify your student status, once you click on this button, it says you need to upload a document as the proof of enrollment and it must include your full name, your academic institution name or logo and the date. And the suggested document types are your school ID card with the expiry date. This is very important. And it might be your class schedule, tuition receipt also. The supported file types are .jpg, png and pdf but i would re recommend the .jpg because if you upload your document as .jpg format then your verification process will be very fast and within few seconds you will be verified so with that now click on add documents but before clicking on add documents let us show what the ideal document should look like this is a document that is having the student name date of birth and also the institution name over here, logo. And the most important thing is expiry date. So if you don't have such kind of ID card, you can create it using Canva. I will not show that over here. So now let's select the documents one by one. I would request you don't put any incorrect information. The responsibility is completely yours. First, let's select the front side. Now the back side. And once done, now click on submit. And as I have uploaded the image file as .jpg, it will take few seconds to get it verified. And the verification service is provided by Share ID. Now you can see you have been successfully verified. Now in case your verification process takes too much time and it says you have to wait for two days. So please wait or you can try with different document. So once the verification is complete, you will get an email that will have the button the get google ai pro so click on that button now please make sure you have selected the correct account where you want to get the subscription now click on this get students offer now you need to set up the auto pay for that you can select your card it might be credit card debit card or upi i would select upi over any card and you can see it's showing the QR code. This is because I am using a desktop device. If you use a mobile device, in that case, you can make the payment directly from your UPI application. 
but I can't do that I need to scan the QR code and then make the payment from my UPI application so as you can see you will be charged only rupees 2 Indian currency it may be different for your region so you can cancel the subscription anytime I'll show you how to cancel the auto pay just after completing the purchase okay so uh, let us click on subscribe now you will see a QR code you need to scan it using your UPI application now in your UPI application it might show us up to 1950 Indian rupees that means the UPI mandate will be set up up to 1950 you don't have to make the complete payment right now you just enter the pin and rupees 2 will be deducted from your account and you will get the refund within 10 days so once you complete the payment using your UPI pin now you will see here it says subscribed and you will be redirected I click on this go to Gemini button and now you can see we get Gemini Pro on the same account now let's click on this account icon and go to Google account management section and here you can see we are now getting 2 TB instead of 30 GB that was few seconds earlier and let us go to Google Drive to confirm it yes you can see we are having 2 TB of storage for one year now I will show you how to cancel the auto pay that you have already made for that open your UPI application click on your account icon then go to auto pay section in Google Pay and if you are using a different UPI application you can find it on your own now you can see the Google UPI mandate click on it now you can pause the auto pay from the bottom of the screen and you can set the date up to which it will be paused the better is you cancel the auto pay yes so now you need to enter the UPI pin once you enter it it will cancel the auto pay so the auto pay is successfully cancelled and as you can see the only rupees 2 has been deducted from my account and it will be refunded within 10 days so you as you have cancelled the auto pay don't think that your subscription is cancelled your subscription is still available once the trial period is over after one year if you want to reactivate the subscription you can do that by setting up the auto pay again so this was the complete video thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe and enjoy the free cloud space offered by google